you know, for, for being here today to hear us talk about what I consider one of the uh, most important institutions in the city county of San Francisco, which is the City College of San Francisco. I'm a proud former student, like many people, like many of the thousands of residents in San Francisco, the over 80,000 annually, who uh, really use it to improve their lives. In fact, the voters of San Francisco said that it was so important that just in November, by over 70% passed a parcel tax to increase funding millions of dollars to this very, very important institution. And we're passing out that value statement to reiterate together how important this institution is. And that we are determined to keep this institution open and accredited. We take this accreditation process extraordinarily seriously. We take the improvements in the thousands of hours of work that we have put in to this institution very seriously. We have representatives from the Chancellor's Office. We have representatives from the State Chancellor's Office. We have representatives from our faculty, from our staff, uh, from elected officials, from our Board of Trustees, the students who are here, in, in my opinion, the most important constituent of all. Well, I'm here representing students. Um, City College has personally changed my life. I've met so many people from so many different walks of life. I love my instructors. Um, I, I would definitely argue they're, they're um, world class. Um, as students, we don't appreciate the negative media. We don't appreciate all these negative messages that are coming out that are confusing us. Um, you know, we stand with our instructors and we stand with the administrators in fixing this problem together in um, solidarity and um, just keeping uh, City College accessible and open um, for our wonderful community. Okay. Thank you, Assembly Member, and thank you for bringing everybody together. We have so many stakeholders here. Um, on behalf of the over 100,000 men and women um, that belong to labor unions here in San Francisco, in particular the classified workers and the teachers that actually make this uh, wonderful institution work, I'm extremely proud of the work that has happened. Looking at the hours and hours that have been spent to deal with all the issues about accreditation, um, I'm very positive that we are going to be able to be in a good shape with this very valuable institution. I really, this is a really incredible jewel in San Francisco. We are going to make sure that accreditation gets forward and everybody is committed to getting that process taken care of and I'm very encouraged by that and I see us um, um, being not, no place but better in a very short period of time. Thank you. There's a March 15th deadline. The, the staff and the management and the faculty, everybody's working very, very hard to get those answers back to the accreditation but, committee. Well, we do want to thank Assemblymember Ting uh, for his convening of this meeting and for speaking out for bringing these parties together. Uh, City College is a remarkable institution, and that should be the headline. That remarkable things happen there, that it changes people's lives for the better. So anything that we can do to show support in our community, uh, to have our elected officials stand with us, uh, our labor leaders, our business leaders, that's what's gonna help pull us through. Um, but we are absolutely committed to keeping our accreditation and doing everything we can to, to keep City College here for people in San Francisco as we have been since 1935. We don't think we have the ability to ask for an extension. We have a deadline, we have to meet it, and then we'll see, we'll have discussions as we have been having to see where we are. And there's a lot we don't agree on, but the one thing we do agree on is um, we want City College to remain accredited. We want people to recognize the work that's been done. We want people to appreciate how much we still have to do. And the headline today is we want people to enroll. This is the second year in a row that we've had an enrollment, a soft enrollment issue. And under the, the way the state funds community colleges, you essentially get a pass the first year, the whole harmless year. We're in the second year. So we <coughs> can't come up to the enrollment goal this year. Um, we get our budget cut, and we become a smaller institution, which means we serve fewer people, employ fewer people. And that's something we're trying to work uh, very hard to avoid. Nobody's rooting for City College to fail. Everybody's rooting for City College to succeed. We have different ways that we want to go about that. Um, but nobody should lose sight of the urgency of, of the task. And today's task is really to put the word out about enrollment. really appreciate it. Uh, if there's any additional questions, you can feel free to give me. We will work with you to get an answer.